everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the channel my name is Talisha and I also go by creativity by T and if you are new to watching the channel I do welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing and thank you to all of my returning subscribers for coming back and for your continued support so today's video features the sixth episode of Elevate with Ankara Elevate with Ankara is a sewing series that myself and Cherie of Cherie Thomas has put together where we share with you how we elevate our makes by sewing with Ankara fabric and how you can also plan to elevate your makes with Ankara fabric. If you are not sure what Ankara fabric is, Ankara fabric is 100% cotton African fabric. Sometimes it's swags, sometimes it's not, but basically, you know, it has beautiful bold prints and beautiful I mean just everything about it is bold the colors the prints just very very vibrant today we are going to be talking about pants how you can elevate your pants while making them with Ankara fabric I will be showcasing about five to six different patterns with you today and Cherie will also be showcasing different patterns of how you can elevate them with Ankara fabric so make sure if you have not done so already to please go over to her channel and subscribe and make sure you head over there after you watch this video so that you can see what we're coming up with and then in two weeks we will showcase and present or reveal <laughs> which pattern we decided to make so I will go ahead and start showing you those patterns now if you have any suggestions or if you have one that you would prefer to see me make please leave it in the comment section below and I will go ahead and get started okay so for this first pattern this is McCall's 8292 and the pattern description is Mrs. Pants I know there's a little glare so I'll try to lift it up what I like about this pattern and what I think would be a good idea to do to elevate this pattern is by using the yoke. With this yoke, you could do some color blocking or you could use two different types of Ankara fabrics to bring this out or you can all leave it the same. You could use some like contrasting piping and put it in here to separate the yolk from the pants and make the gathers a little bit noticeable. You could also contrast the carriers for the waistband, anything with this. And just the fact that this is nice and big and flowy um, give, makes this also a good option. So this is C here, this is B, and then there's shorts, but we are talking about pants today. So that is what I would do with this pattern and I'll show you the line drawings in the back. So here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your linen, chambray, staple knits, and your lightweight twill. Simplicity 9608 is a really good option for elevating your makes with Ankara fabric. The pattern description for this pattern is Mrs. Pants and Skirts. And what I really, really love about this pattern that I think would really, really elevate this like very well is using the plackets here. So this is like a wide leg pan, has elasticated waist, and it has button plackets and buttons. I think that the button placket, using the button placket, I should say, and the buttons would really, really elevate this pattern. And even if you did it with the skirt, of course, we're talking about the pants here and that will be my focus, but uh, either using like a flashy button to make the uh, Ankara fabric pop out more or either contrasting the placket, I think that would just make it really, really, really good. Now with Ankara fabric, you can just make it with all in color fabric and it's still going to come out fabulous because on color fabric in general is going to elevate any look in my opinion however if you want to take it to the next level those are my suggestions so here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your batiks chalet cotton blends double gloss soft linen blends and lightweight denim 
Simplicity 9236 is another great option. There are two pant views for this pattern and I like them both. You have the view A here, which is gonna be more of a standard pan. But the thing that I like about that is that even though it is a standard type of pan, it has these huge pockets and you could utilize those pockets because they are on the outside to elevate your look with Ankara. Again, you could use all Ankara, but uh, with these pockets being exposed the way they are, you could definitely play with Ankara and find a different print and just kind of mix the prints up. And that would definitely take a basic pant to something very extra and fancy. So view C here, I really like that option as well. That's the view that the model is wearing. You could utilize the pockets to elevate this pattern by using two different types of Ankara. You can also use the same Ankara and just kind of make some bold top stitching or you don't even have to use two Ankaras. You can use a solid color. You can use a different type of print that is not Ankara. But with those pockets, you can really play around with that and make it stand out or you can make the pants solid and use Ankara pockets. The other thing I like about this view, which is view C, is that you can utilize the cuffs too. The cuffs are separate from the pants as far as pattern pieces are concerned. So you could use Ankara for the pants, for the, all of the, the main pieces, and you can use two different Ankara prints for the pocket and for the bottom band or cuff. I'm not really sure what it's described. I didn't read the pattern yet, but yeah, so I think that would be a really, really good way to utilize it. And then I just love how this is not your standard type of pant, even though it has a regular fit or a slim fit, I should say. It's not because the fabric is tapered in. It's because it has pleats here at the bottom and you have your so here are your line drawings in the back and your recommended fabrics are going to be your lightweight denim, linen, microfiber, poplin, silky types, and soft cotton. And then we have McCall's 8057. This is a very basic type of pant pattern and it also has a short option. but. The reason why I picked this, even though it is basic, is because of the slim fit for view F and how it tapers in. I feel like any pant that is made that is tapered in is just hot. That alone will elevate it and then adding Ankara fabric to it is just a great, great choice as far as elevating a pattern. I recently, well maybe not recently, about a year ago made simplicity i believe it was 1165 or something like that and it's a slim fit pant and it just made a big difference i didn't feel sloppy in my clothes i felt like it was much more fancier even when i was dressed down so that's the reason why i picked this pattern um, because i feel like it's a good option with this slim fit in the leg for the pants now you could take it up a notch and you could add ties to the bottom and have bows, bow ties at the bottom at the ankle and it will make it even more elevated. And that would just be easy to do. You just add some strips of fabric, put it in the seam, tie it up and it would be even more hot. However, this pattern alone for view F with the slim leg option is going to be great. You could make view C if you'd like to, but um, it would just pretty much be basic with Ankara fabric. That is okay. but. To take it up a notch, I think View F would be the best for this, in my opinion. So here are the line drawings in the back, and the pattern and the suggested fabrics are going to be your chalet, crepe, gauze, and linen. The next pattern is McCall's 8118. The pattern description for this is Mrs. Pants, Short, and Belt. I obviously am going to be talking about View C, which is your pan. Now, why did I pick this one? Because it is a true paper bag waist pant pattern. It is big. It has enough of a cut in the leg 
patterned pieces to where it could really show off the different designs in the Ankara fabric and the color and you can make a matching belt and you could two-tone the belt by making it with two different Ankaras or making a solid on one side and Ankara on the other. You can just make it all one Ankara and you can make a big bow with it but what's going to elevate this look is certainly the width of the pants to show off the Ankara designs and prints and also the paper bag waist effect on the waist especially if you're wearing it high waisted that is going to be the showstopper for this pattern and I love it so here are your line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your crepes faux leather poplin and cotton blends and then we have Simplicity 1069 and the pattern description is Mrs. Wide Leg Pants in two lengths with wrapped skirt and shorts. View A is what we are going to discuss today. These two right here. These are your wide leg pants and all I can say <laughs> is Ankara fabric would look absolutely beautiful in these wide leg pants because they will just showcase the fabric and that's pretty much all this pattern will do but if you are wanting a wide leg to do that to showcase your fabric this would be perfect because there's nothing in within this pattern that is going to disrupt the features of the designs and of the colors and just showcasing the art within the fabric in general there's no gathers um, there's no darts you know nothing like that it's just a plain pattern with wide legs and that is why I chose that and why I think it could be used to elevate now I said earlier when I was talking about the paper bag waist pants and you know using the gathers to elevate it that's if you're going for that look I personally like that look but there's times when I don't like that look and so you would definitely have options between the two and I really had not noticed this pattern before but Fatmata of traditionally inspired meaningfully or meaningful arts excuse me made this pattern and she made it in a print and it was gorgeous so that is why I decided to pick this pattern up so here line joins in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your crepe chalet crepe back satin linen types and silky types so those are going to be all the patterns that i am showing for today's episode of elevate with Ankara. as said earlier please let me know what your thoughts are about these patterns in the comment section below and let me know which one you like best and maybe which one you would like to see me so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you have not done so already go ahead and click the subscribe button and the great notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i will see you in the next video which will be soon because i have a lot of build up videos because of the break that i took in december but yes i've got some stuff for you all so please stay tuned bye